Hello everyone, this is Paul with uh, Die Hard RC Addicts. Uh, basically this is going to be a video um, for a brand new toy I just got. I purchased a quadcopter from Atlanta Hobby. Um, I'm definitely not a good helicopter pilot so I wanted to get something that would uh, fly pretty stable um, right off the bat for beginners um, like myself that aren't very good at helicopter uh, flying. So um, basically I was doing a little bit of reading on the uh, internet and forums and uh, I found that the uh, DJI systems are actually some pretty good quadcopter systems. They're uh, definitely a little more expensive than the simple KK board setups that a lot of people are using. Um, but the DJI uh, NASA flight controller um, is supposed to be really good. It's got a barometer in there and uh, some auto stabilization uh, stuff in there. So it'll supposedly do like um, altitude hold and it has a very good uh, stabilization in it if you put it in attitude mode. Uh, so that's going to be the uh, flight controller. And I got also the DJI um, Almost Ready to Fly kit. This is the Flame Wheel F450. Uh, basically, it's a quadcopter kit. It comes with the motors, the ESC, um, and the uh, actual frame. So let me get these unboxed and then we'll take a closer look. All right, everybody, I got everything unboxed from the uh, Flame Wheel F450 kit. As you can see here, it looks pretty complete. Um, at the bottom here, I've got four 30 amp ESCs. These ESCs do not have a BEC built into them. Um, so when you start building this uh, quadcopter, when you get it ready, you're going to have to provide your own BEC. Um, there was one, I believe, that came with the controller that I got separately. Um, but we'll look at that in a little bit. Um, it also comes with four motors. These are the DJI 2212 motors that are rated at 920 kV. These are pretty cool if you look at them. Um, they don't have the typical... Um, prop adapter. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Um, the prop adapter is actually built right on the top side of the motor. Um, it's machined aluminum right on part of it. So it hopefully will be a little more rigid and won't bend as easy as some of the uh, other motors that are out there. Uh, basically the prop just fits on and slips over. See how it's slotted like that? So basically it'll fit over the slot so the prop it really doesn't um, won't spin freely even if the uh, um, little nut on top is a little bit loose. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit when I start building it, um, but that's pretty cool. Um, also included, you get the two uh, main uh, quadcopter frame pieces. they got the upper and lower piece. And as you can see, they already have all the uh, positions where you can solder on the ESCs, basically the positive and negative. So they'll go on to where it's marked on this bottom part of the frame. And then your main battery leads will be soldered on here, um, the connector, and basically there'll be a wire that comes off with your um, connector. I'll be using the XT60 connector probably, and then uh, the battery will go on top of the quadcopter. Um, comes with all the uh, hex wrench bolts to put the frame together. You get the battery strap, also some Velcro to hold the battery down, and you got a little wrench that'll tighten up the uh, little uh, prop adapter on top. Um, here's the uh, four pieces of the frame. These are made out of a very sturdy nylon plastic. Um, I watched a video online from the guys from uh, DJI and the guy was actually jumping on the frame with his full weight, throwing it around, kicking it around. He actually threw it out of a building from about the 10th floor and hit the ground and it didn't break. So hopefully it's uh, really that strong because I know I'll probably crash this thing once or twice. Um, also you get two sets of props. Um, you get a set of 8 inch props you got some normal spinning and some counter rotating uh, for both sizes. These are 8 inch here and these are 10 inch. I believe the 8 inch can be run when you use a 3S pack or I mean vice versa. Um, the 8 inch can be run on a 4S pack and the uh, 10 inch are on the 3S uh, LiPo pack. Alright everyone, I've now unpacked the uh, box that held the uh, NASA controller and all the other pieces. Uh, basically here's a quick look. The NASA controller, this is your multi-rotor flight controller. Uh, basically this thing's really small and it's nice and compact and it's in a nice case so it'll keep everything inside nice and protected. Um, that's the main brain pretty much for the uh, flight controller. It also comes with the uh, power supply for it. Um, this is basically a BEC but it also has an LED light on the top of it. And this will indicate what modes the controller is in also. And also it, uh, it'll uh, give you signals for like low battery and other stuff like that. And also on the very front side of it, this is where you plug in your USB uh, port um, to plug into the program on the computer that you can do uh, fine-tuning adjustments with the controller and set it for what type of uh, multi-rotor um, craft you're going to be using. Because it can support a hexacopter 
and also quadcopters. Um, it comes with the uh, USB cable, and you also get um, eight of the servo type jumper um, cables. So you can uh, connect this from your receiver into the NASA controller. All right, guys, I finished soldering up the bottom board. Um, I added the ESCs. Basically, they solder right onto the uh, positive and negative contacts. Um, there's one for each of the four ESCs. Also, there's a contact for the battery lead, and it goes right to the board. And also, you connect the uh, positive and negative contacts of the power supply for the NASA board. Um, this is basically a BEC also. So that's all wired together. So now all I have to do is put the uh, frame together, then plug everything in to the controller and the receivers, and then we can get it set up. All right, everyone, I now have the Flame Wheel 450 all put together. Um, it was a super easy build. Um, you just had to solder all the connections onto the bottom board, which is really easy. Then you just put all the uh, bolts together to hold the arms and the uh, top and bottom plate together. Um, basically, I just put all the electronics on the middle level of the uh, quadcopter. The nozzle controller is in there. Um, the nozzle controller, you do need to hook it up to your computer for the first time before you run it. Um, that will calibrate everything, um, your throws on your radio, and uh, make sure you have all your uh, motors connected right and all that stuff. Uh, but that's really easy too after you get the software installed. Um, software is on their website. They don't give you a disc. Uh, but that's easy. Just go to their website and download it. Alright guys, I got the DJI Flame Wheel 450 all put together. I just mounted my GoPro right now. It's just taped on the top. It's not the best place for it. But you'll probably see the props in it. But um, this is just for the test flights. So we're at the park. I'm going to take it up and see how it handles. Okay guys, that's hands off there. It's drifting a little bit because there's a tiny bit of wind up there. Um, but otherwise it's pretty stable. There again, there's hands off. It's got altitude hold built in it um, and pretty much auto stabilization. Other than the wind kind of blowing it a little bit, it's uh, pretty stable. Take it up a little higher. So can... Dang, man. Now this is definitely uh, a lot easier to fly than the KK board quadcopter I built quite a while ago. I am still kind of a new pilot at... <laughs> Damn, dude buzzing our heads here and shit. It's like a flying guillotine, man. <laughs> like I was saying, I was uh, I'm pretty new still flying uh, helicopter type things. Uh, but this thing's pretty stable. They bring it down kind of like yeah. in front of us and then do the elevator up there. Man. Hang on. Let me get used to this thing. Bring it back over the field, man. Okay, you ready? Yeah. full throttle up um, right now I've only got the 8 inch uh, props on there I need to get another set of the 10 inch props and I'm only running a 3s pack on it right now yeah, that thing's up there pretty good yeah. very stable so what kind of flight time did you say you were getting out of this flight? Uh, roughly on the 2650 battery, I was getting about eight minutes yesterday. Uh, supposedly, I haven't tested it out, but supposedly this thing has an auto land feature if you fly it past the low voltage. Uh, because down low on the, safe yeah. levels on and the battery. And the LED will start blinking red when you're um, at a, in a low voltage uh, situation.
Okay, let's take it over, see if I can fly under the goal. Okay guys, I'm going to bring it in. Alright guys, that was pretty awesome. Um, this thing, I'm definitely liking it so far. I definitely have to get better in my skills of flying this type of aircraft. But I think this is a really good one to start out on because of all the auto stabilization features of it. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with this and hopefully this will become a, a good camera platform for us in the future.